All right, you guys, we're back here in the booth here, and I got a uh, special guest again, uh, Fawn Wood. Hello, Fawn, how are you? Good, I've been really good enjoying the powwow. You know, I think it's really cool to have a powwow in our area, especially around this time. Yeah. It's an awesome turnout. We were talking about that before, and uh, so just we were just chatting just before. Uh, you got a lot of things going on. University, you're taking your master's in indigenous uh, linguistics. Mm -hmm. And uh, you obviously have a new album coming out, you said, and obviously you're a backup singer with mm -hmm. Dallas. So let's start there. Let's go into university, uh, you know, talk about uh, the importance of uh, revitalizing our language. You know what? Um, it, it's, it, it, I'm really passionate about that, and I'm passionate about it because of things like this. Like, my first um, exposure to language was through singing and music. And um, I think it's a really beautiful thing because you see a lot of our young people are starting to be attracted to wanting to be a part of this and to, you know, pick up on singing and culture and, um, you know, to see young people even take pride by wearing syllabics and stuff like that, it's a really beautiful thing. And yeah. I'm a strong believer in leading by example. And um, I'm also a mom, so that was another motivation for me to, yeah. to really want to learn our language and share it. Yeah. I found it, um, it, was, it was really important to me because I noticed in my community, there was nobody my age or younger that were speaking or understanding it. And I was like, oh, well, what am I going to show my kids when I'm an elder, you know, or when I'm a kukum? And that's why I really encourage anybody, no matter what language or tribe you're from, to speak your language, learn your language. We're at that tipping point of almost like, it's do or die now, right? Yeah. It's like, it's gonna die, like if we literally don't do anything, we gotta be straightforward with each other. Yeah. My friend who's uh, Dene, uh, Willis Janvick, who's watching, big shout out to him, Dene Yate Podcast, fluent in Dene, and just speaks Dene all the time on his show. I think I've always, and I've done podcasts, and I know you and Dallas do one. Do you yeah. guys incorporate the language lots in there? Yeah, you know, actually, the the show we do, it's called the Cree Chatter Hour. It's province-wide. You can even listen to it no matter where you are on, uh, if you Google it. Um, it's Sorry, it is, what is it again? The Cree Chatter Hour on Cree CFWE. Chatter hour. You, <laughs> chatter hour. you could also, um, we actually wanted to aim our show at, at people who want to build up their self-esteem and their confidence in speaking. So beginner speakers or people who, who don't have next to nothing fluency. And I think that's important because especially when it comes to language learning, it's really easy for our people to become discouraged. Yeah. So uh, we know how that feels too. When we started, like we knew how to sing, but we weren't confident in speaking. So it's about encouraging and making it fun. There's so many different aspects to learning language. It's not just something that we speak or communicate in. Like there's a whole, um, there's a whole mindset on, on, on being, you know, Nehyo or, or Nakoda or Dene, you know, there's, it's a whole way of life and thinking. And that's a beautiful thing about it, connecting yeah. people to that. Yeah, yeah, no, exactly. Uh, I, I, I'm, I'm so such a pusher of a podcast because, you know, back in the day when we we're in the pandemic, obviously, mm -hmm. All these podcasts throw stuff, yeah. through stuff, and, and I was just saying, man, I, I kept inboxing like a lot of people that spoke the language of any language. I said, man, you need to start a podcast. Yeah. You know, even if you're shy, get it out there because this will stay on the air forever. So, yeah. big hats off to you in Dallas. You know, to taking that extra step, and obviously, you know, you want to uh, show your kids how to do it. And, yeah. Right? And even though it gets crazy sometimes when yeah. we're recording at home, we have our kids screaming. In the I know, <laughs> and, and it, but that's the cool thing too. It's raw. It's live. Yeah. It's like, hey, man, that's real life. It's not just. Yeah. Pretty things all the time, right? You know what? I didn't think we'd expect it. We're, on two, we're going on, two, actually, we're about two years in now. Yeah. And, you know, when we started, we we're like, oh, well, we'll try to get as much episodes as we can. We'll ride it out two yeah, years yeah. later. It's still, you know, our audience grew. We really appreciate that, everybody who listens. And um, shout out to all of the all of the language warriors out yes. there who are doing their part in, in revitalizing and, and strengthening that, that tool we have as Indigenous people. It's beautiful to see. Awesome. Well, there you guys go. Fawn Wood uh, joining us here today as uh, she's uh, joining Powers. Anything you want to say really quick? Um, I just hope everybody's having a good and safe um, powwow trail wherever you are. And I know we're going into round dance season. You guys stay safe and um, um, make sure you drive safe too. All of our travelers out there, our people travel all over for different things. So just be safe. All right. Thank you, Fawn. All right. Down back to the main floor. Hey!